Hey Fawn fam, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hey what's up? My name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. I know, if you, I don't know what order the skincare videos are going up in, but I know this is a new look for me. I like never do a little bit of makeup. I'm either just no makeup or full glam and I had to cover up some dark circles today and then I was like oh, I'm gonna pop on some false lashes and then I was like I need to put a little bit of cream highlight on so I have nothing else on my face or anything I always have a little lip gloss on I mean even without makeup on but aside from that I just needed to cover up my dark circles and then popped on a little bit of a natural cream highlight and some falsies and that's it <laughs> So we are going to talk about a dehydrated skin versus dry skin today. So this one will be a nice little quickie video. So our skin has different layers, which I'm sure you guys know, outer and lower layers. And those layers lack water and are dehydrated and are starving for nutrients. So if your skin starts to feel tight, you'd probably assume it's dry. If you're experiencing breakouts, you blame your hormones or your new foundation, while redness and inflammation must mean you've got sensitive skin, right? Well, these symptoms could be proof that your skin is simply dehydrated. Everything from pollution and sun exposure to wind, air conditioner, and central heating can sap the much needed water in our skin. But contrary to popular belief, chugging down eight glasses of water a day, trying to stay hydrated just won't cut it when it comes to your complexion. The key to well hydrated skin is a combination of drinking enough water and boosting the water content of your skin cells. This also means minimizing water loss through your skin. And that's where your skincare comes in. So if you have dry skin, this is actually a skin type. It lacks oil. La you lack the sebaceous activity that produces the oil in your skin. So signs that you have true dry skin, that you have the skin type. You have tight, flaky skin, irritated skin. When you apply hydrators and moisturizers, they soak up really quickly. You lack lipids to really retain moisture in your skin, which can lead to not having a strong barrier, which can lead to irritated skin. You can't cure having dry skin because it is a skin type, but you can do things to make it more comfortable. You can avoid harsh cleansers. You want to make sure you don't have foaming cleansers. So if you want like just a general rule, no foaming cleansers. Now, if you have dry skin and you love foaming cleansers, make sure that there is no SLS, sodium lauryl sulfate. That is a like no-no in foaming cleansers, especially for dry skin. It's a bad ingredient, period. I have normal skin and I won't use a foaming cleanser that has SLS in it. But if you have dry skin, do not use a foaming cleanser with SLS. If you really need to use a foaming cleanser, I, uh, I suggest avoid foaming cleansers altogether. Use very heavy moisturizers, occlusives, shea butter, peptides, niacinamide, and ceramides to restore your skin barrier and make it stronger. The drier your skin is, the more you can actually slather on and use. Don't over exfoliate your skin when you have dry skin and use a humidifier. It will go such a long way for you. Now dehydrated skin is a skin condition, not a skin type. And any skin type can have dehydrated skin. It lacks water. So signs that you're suffering from dehydrated skin is that you can see visible fine lines. Deep wrinkles are a different thing. But if you put on a moisturizer, a hyaluronic acid, polyglutamic acid, and those little fine lines just go away, that's a good sign that you have dehydrated skin. If you have redness, 
congestion in your skin, inflammation, like acne flare-ups or sensitivity. Those are all signs. So what can cause dehydration? Overwashing your face, certain cleansers, because you don't necessarily need to wash your face twice a day. Uh, some people can just wash your, your face at night and in the morning, depending on obviously if you are a, a heavy sweater at night, if you use a lot of products at night, like I do, I have to wash my face in the morning. I can't handle it. I got, I, one, I sweat at night and two, I use a lot of products at night. But if you're somebody who uses like a light amount of products and you don't really sweat at night, all you have to do is splash some water on your face and gently tap your face dry and go in with your products. You don't actually need to cleanse in the mornings. So just take that into consideration that it's not a must to cleanse. So just don't over cleanse your face. Um, over exfoliating can lead to dehydrated skin, especially if you're not replenishing your skin, which is why you want to start simple and then build up so that you don't cause an imbalance in your skin. The weather, especially the winter, cold air has low humidity air and that can cause dry, cracky, tight skin. Heaters in the home are a major problem and a humidifier can help with this. Not drinking enough water, drinking alcohol, caffeine, I call it pop, I know Americans call it soda, <laughs> and caffeinated tea can all lead to dehydrated skin but you can treat it. You can hydrate, you can drink water, you can put a little bit of lemon in it, which can help you absorb the water or drink alkaline water. You can eat your water through certain fruits like watermelon or um, you can have cucumber, you can have it in your vegetables. I hate vegetables, I don't touch vegetables, uh, which I'm a vegetarian and a lot of you guys know that and you laugh at me, but like I hate vegetables. So I'll have fruit uh, and I drink a minimum of a gallon of water a day. I'm more like five to six liters of water a day. Uh, and having a humidifier will go a very long way in helping to treat dehydrated skin. Using a non-foaming cleanser, because they can be very drying unless there's no SLS, the sodium laurel sulfate in it. Cream cleansers, gentle cleansers, if you're suffering from dehydrated skin, because obviously chemical cleansers with HAs, BHAs, all of those are great, but if you're suffering from dehydrated skin, just take a break, uh, exfoliate, but be gentle. Using lactic acid is really great because it has a larger molecule and it boosts hydration. Um, something like using the REN uh, Ready Steady Glow Tonic is a great um, chemical exfoliant or the Good Genes by Sunday Riley because that's lactic acid. Those are exfoliators that will also provide hydration. So you can use products like that. Uh, using humectants like hyaluronic acid, polyglutamic acid, glycerin, peptides, all of that will really help balance your skin back out again moisturizers that are hydrating, not necessarily very exclusive or heavy on the skin. Uh, you can use a hydrating spray toner after every step, like every step of your skincare to add in more moisture. So like the Biosance Squalane um, toner, I think it's Squalane and something else, I'm blanking though. But that Biosant Squalane one is really amazing at bringing the moisture levels back. I love that one after, like for a recovery skincare routine after a peel or something. But you could use a spray like the Biosance one. And after every step that you do your skincare, spray your face with the Biosance. And it is so hydrating. And 
that will give you, that will start to help balance your skin back out and bring it back to your normal skin type. But you just need to watch and depend on what your, it depends on what your normal skin type is. Because if you have acne prone skin, using too many products can also lead to more problems. So if you generally have like normal skin, for instance, and then now you're suffering from dehydrated skin, you can totally do the, the Biosance spray toner every step of the way to bring that hydration back. But if you generally have acne prone skin, you might, might want to use that Biosance at the beginning and then maybe like one other time and then kind of back off of it. So it's, it's going to be trial and error. It depends on your skin. It's so personal. Everybody's skin type is so personal that you're just going to have to play around and see. Um, you can really see dehydrated skin in people with oily skin because they've gone and stripped their skin down too much with like, you know, the bad alcohols trying to degrease, get that matte finish, and then they've caused the dehydration. So that's generally where the, the dehydration skin problems come into play is normally with oily skin type, which can also be with acne prone skin types. But it can happen with anybody if you're using too many exfoliants, too many peels back to back, uh, too many acids, retinols, and you're just, you're doing too, 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 too much and you're not giving your skin a kind of break and time to renew and repair. So just be mindful of what you're doing because there is such thing as too much of a good thing as well. And that's something that I need to always be mindful of because I would love to do a chemical peel every single day and you can't. You can only do it once or twice a week depending on the peel. And I would love to go in and use like hydroquinone every single day and you can't do that. Like it's just, there's so many products that are so strong and so incredible that I would love to do all the same, all the time, twice a day, and you just can't. So you need to just like, you know, take a breath, realize that there are products that are meant to be used once or twice a week. Some products are meant to be used together. Other products, you know, you got to use this one this day, this one this day, and you just you have to be mindful of what can interact with what so that way you don't have something like dehydration or other skin problems and irritation or sensitivity and that kind of thing. So I hope that this little video was helpful and provided some insight. And let me know if you guys have ever wondered about dryness versus, versus dehydration or if you've ever confused the two, if this was helpful or just what you have to say. I would love to know. I am so engrossed in skincare and I'm loving everything that I have learned over the past few months that I would just love to know all of your feedback. So that does it for this video and until next time, good night, good morning, wherever you are. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.